Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Now let us look at one more problem. Suppose A is 4 plus minus 0.2 and B is 2 plus minus 0.1, right? So what is the value of A plus B? Very easy, right? All of you can do that. So do it. What is A plus B? A plus B, you add these numbers, you get 6. And you add the errors, you get 0.3. Simple, right? Very, very simple. Everything in physics is very easy. What will be A minus B? How much? 2, right? 4 minus 2 is 2. Plus minus... How much? No, not 0.1. Errors are never subtracted. Errors are always added. So, you will get again 0.3. Right? Whether you like it or not, it will be 0.3, not 0.1. Because errors are always added. Errors are never subtracted. Now, what will be AB? For AB, you cannot multiply this. Remember that, right? Errors you cannot multiply. Just multiply the numbers. So, AB, which is say Z, this will be equal to 4 into 2, 8. Right? Now, plus minus, how will you find out? You'll add the fractional errors. Right? Delta Z by Z will be equal to Delta A by A plus delta B by B. So understand that. What is delta A? Delta A is here, right? 0.2. How much is A? 4. Plus delta B is 0.1. And how much is this? 2. So therefore, this is also 0.1 by 2. If you add up, you will get 0.2 by 2. That is 0.1. Right? So this is delta Z by Z. This is 0.1. Right? Now once you have found that, then we can find delta Z very easily. Because delta Z will be equal to 0.1 times Z. Z is how much? Z is 8. So 0.1 times 8. That gives us 0.8, right? Therefore, our Z will be 8 plus minus 0.8, right? When we are multiplying or dividing, fractional errors are added. Remember that. What will be Y? That is a by B. What will be A by B? So again divide without worrying about errors. So what will you get? 4 by 2, that is 2. So what will be Y? Yes, fractional errors added, very good. No, it will not be 0 0.8, right? Remember, fractional errors are added. So, delta Z by Z will still be 0 0.1. But delta Z will now be, okay, you can call it delta Y by Y, right? Because now it is Y. Delta Y by Y will be 0 0.1. But delta Y will be 0 0.1 into whatever is the value of Y, which is 2. So, 0 0.1 into 2, we get 0.2. Therefore, Y is 2 plus minus 0 0.2. Right? So understand that. Fractional errors are added. Errors are not added. And therefore, you will get y as 2 plus minus 0.2. Now suppose, suppose, we have to calculate now, let's call it x. x is equal to a b square. Now, how to do this? X is now AB square. 
Don't get scared, right? That power will just become the coefficient. So first we can calculate a b square without error. a is 4, b is 2, 2 square is 4, we get 16. Right? All of you agree with that. Simple. Now we have to add fractional errors, but this power will become the coefficient. So delta x by x will be equal to delta a by a plus 2 times delta b by b. So what is delta a? Delta a is 0.2 and that is out of 4. And this is 2. What is delta b? 0 0.1 and b is 2. So what do you get? 1, we can take 4 as LCM. So this is 0 0.2. 2 will come here. So you'll get 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 0 0.1 as 0 0.4. Right? Is that correct? Yes, it is. So 0 0.6 by 4. Right? This is the fractional error. I can leave it as it is because anyway I have to multiply by 16. So delta x becomes 0.6 by 4 into x. This is x. So 0.6 by 4 into 16. That will give us 4 here. 4 into 0.6 is 2.4. Right? Therefore, x becomes 16 plus minus 0. No, not 0. It is 2.4. 2.4. So, this is how you solve this question. Pay attention here. x became a b square now. So, that became 16. That is no problem. Error in x by x equal to error in a by a plus 2 times error in b by b. Why 2? Because this power is 2. Right? So, 0 0.2 by 4 here. 0 0.1 by 2 multiplied by 2 that is actually 0 0.1. But you have taken 4 as LCM so you get 0 0.4 there. So, 0 0.6 by 4. Right? So, delta x becomes 0 0.6 by 4 into 16. Because 16 is the value of AB square. So, you get 4 here, 2.4. So, x is 16 plus minus 2.4. Right? Easy. Now, let us look at one more problem. Suppose volume of one object is 4 plus minus 0.16. Volume of second object is 16 plus minus 0.3. Question is, find the volume, sum and difference in volumes with error limits. So, what will be the sum? V1 plus V2. Add the volumes. So, you get 20. Add the errors. You get 0.4. Whatever units are there. This will be meter cube. Then this is also meter cube. Then this is also meter cube. If you want, you can put some nice brackets here. Right? So this is the sum of volumes with error limits. Very, very easy. Difference in volume. Say V2 minus V1 because I don't want minus in the answer. So I get 16 minus 4, 12. Again, I have to add the errors. So, I will get plus minus 0.4 meter cube. Errors are always added. Right? So, remember this. Now, let's look at a little bit more complex problem. We can call it complex, but everything in physics is simple. Just a little bit different problem. Right? Mass suppose of a body is 15 plus minus 0.3 kg. Something is having this mass, whatever. 15 plus minus 0.3. And the density of this object is 5 plus minus 0.1 say, meter cube. Okay. Question is find the volume 
with error limits. So how to find volume? Volume is what? Mass by density. So first of all, do not bother about errors. Don't think of errors at all. Assume the mass is 15 kg, density is 5. So what do you get? Volume 15 by 5, that is 3 meter cube. Right? Now you want to calculate plus minus how much? So how to do that? Now we'll add the fractional errors. Delta V by V is delta M by M plus delta rho by rho. What is delta M? 0.3. In how much mass? 50. Plus, what is that? 0.1. In how much? 5. Right? This is also 0.1 by 5. So, in fact, we can write this as 0.2 by 5. Check that. Right? So, we get this as the fractional error in volume. Delta V will therefore be 0.2 by 5 into V. 0.2 by 5 into V is 3. Right? This is 0.2. Right? That is 2. So, 0 0.2 into 3 is 0 0.6. And that is 5. So, we get 0 0.12. If you want, we can round it off to one decimal place because everywhere it is one decimal place. So, we can say this is 0 0.1 meter cube. Right? Therefore, the volume will now be how much? 3 plus minus 0 0.1 meter cube. So, that volume we get it as 3 plus minus 0.1 meter cube. Right? Simple. What we did? Mass was given. Density was given. We found mass by density. That gave us volume. We first calculated without errors. Right? And then we added the fractional errors. We got this. Then you multiplied it by volume to get the absolute error in volume. Mean absolute error. So we get that as 0.1. So, volume became 3 plus minus 0.1 meter cube. We can also look at one more problem. Okay. On the time period of a simple pendulum. What is the formula for time period of a simple pendulum? Remember? T equal to 2 pi root over L by G. Suppose in a particular question, it is given that L and G are measured with plus minus 1% error and plus minus 2% error. What is the percentage error in T in estimation of time period? So, L is getting measured with plus minus 1% error. G is getting measured with plus minus 2% errors. So, what is the percentage error in T? So, how to do this? You see, just you multiply fractional error by 100, you get percentage error. So, delta T by T will be equal to, this power is half, right? L by G square, you to understand, is L by G to the power half. So, that half will come to the front. Delta L by L plus half times delta T G by G. Right? This is nothing but 2 pi L to the power half by G to the power half. This is a constant having no errors. So, delta T by T is half delta L by L plus half delta G by G. You are adding fractional errors, right? You multiply everything by 100, you get percentage errors. So, percentage error in T will be equal to half times percentage error in L that is 1 plus half time 
percentage error in G that is 2. This will give you 1, 1.5. So plus minus 1.5 percent. That's all. Remember, in multiplication or division, fractional errors are added. That means percentage error also gets added. And in power, that power becomes the coefficient. If you know this, you know everything about combination of errors. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.